Hello friends, welcome back. Today we would be learning something which is very simple but extremely interesting. That is how to auto-synchronize Google Sheets with Microsoft Excel. So let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet which has some random data name, age, occupation and country. In this tutorial, I would show you how you could synchronize the data which is there residing on this sheet to an Excel file which is residing in your local system. So let me first give you a demo. This is my Excel file. It has the same columns, name, age, occupation and country. Now, if I click on this refresh all, just see what happens. You could see some data getting auto-populated in this data sheet. And if you just do a comparison, if you see this data is exactly same as we had seen in the Google Sheet. I'll show you the Google Sheet. This is the Google Sheet and the Excel. You could do a comparison. All the rows and columns are same. So we were able to fetch the data from the Google Sheet to the Excel file which is residing locally in your system. And the most important part is that we won't be writing a single line of code to achieve this. It is very simple to achieve. Just follow the steps which I'll explain and you would be able to do the same. So without wasting any time, let's proceed further. So let's come back to the Google Sheet. On this Google Sheet, you have to go to File. And if you just scroll down, there is an option called Publish to Web. Click on it. And now, this on this new window, you have to select. So the first selection is what you have to publish. So I want to publish this sheet. The name of the sheet is Data. So I'm selecting Data. And I want to select it as a web page. There are other options as well, but I would select web page there are certain more settings over here just expand the below section and here again I will just uncheck this entire document and I'll only select the data sheet which I wish to publish so once these settings are done I will click on the publish button before that if you'd see there is uh, this setting over here automatic republish when changes are made I'll explain you within few minutes but for now I'm clicking on this publish button when I do that I have to select just OK over here and on the new window it gives me a URL and it tells me press ctrl C to copy so I'm pressing ctrl C on my keyboard and copying this URL so this URL has been copied now I open a new tab and paste the URL and you could see the data which was there on this Google Sheet is now available as a web page. This URL which you could see is a public URL. So please, if your data is confidential, do not share it with anyone. Just keep it with you. We will be using this URL to get this data which is available on the Google Sheet to our Excel file. So let's once again go to our Excel file. So this is our Excel file. On the Excel file, I'll create a new tab. I will name it as data1. Now you have to just follow the steps which I am showing you. You have already copied the URL. You have to come to the data tab over here. On the top you could see data and within the data there is an option called from web. You click on that. You'll have this kind of a small pop-up which will ask you for the URL. Select the basic option and paste the URL post which you have to click on OK now since we are dealing with Excel files the view would be kind of a table view so here click on this select multiple items and select table 0 over here this will give you a preview in the preview you could see like there are two columns column 1 and column 2 which seem to be unnecessary so what you can do is you have this option called transform data click on it another window will come up on this window you would be able to remove the extra columns what you have to do is here on the left hand side corner click on it and here you have multiple options for example this option use first row as headers you could see in the preview column 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 I do not want the column headers to be column 1 2 3 and 5 6 so I'll use the first row as headers so I select this option you could see it has reflected in the preview also 
once again when I click there there is an option to choose the columns I click over it and from this window I remove the first two columns I only keep name age occupation and country because these four columns I need it so I click on OK once this is done now this data is ready to be loaded for that if you have this first option over here close and load so there is a small arrow over there click on it and you will have two options close and load and another is close and load to select the second option and here it is showing the table view that is fine I want to have my data in my existing worksheet and this is the address so I want my data to be in A1 column A row 1 so I just click over here and if you would see the here it is showing data 1 A1 which means it is the data 1 sheet and the cell reference is A1 and now I click on it once I see this you could see it has automatically pulled in all the data which was there on the Google Sheet to this data one tab. This is this simple. So using this technique, you could sync your Google Sheets with your Excel files which is residing in your local system. So we have successfully fetched the data from the Google Sheet to the Excel file. Now a question would be coming to your mind like uh, what happens if the data in the Google Sheet changes. So once again, I'll go back to my Google Sheet so one approach which you could take is like once your updates on the Google Sheet are done uh, you would publish it and uh, then uh, you, uh, you will just use the technique on the Excel as I have shown you or the other could be if you remember when we went into file publish to web there was an option automatically republish when the changes are made which I'll, I told you I'll explain you so uh, now I'll explain you the importance of this so what is the importance is like if I make any changes over here for example I add few rows over here now how would these changes get reflected into the Excel file since this option is selected within the publish to web automatically the publish the changes when made is selected in the background what will happen is like on this URL these changes will get published now it is written over there that automatically published republish the changes when changes are made but it this happens periodically like this happens every five minutes so after an interval of five minutes these changes which we can see on the Excel file would be published on this URL right now we are not able to see it but it will get when you refresh it after five minutes you would be able to see it so at once this interval is completed what you have to do is like once again go back to the Excel sheet and on the Excel sheet you will have this option called refresh all you will have to click on this so now the timestamp over here is 12.49 so maybe after 5 minutes we will see whether the changes are getting reflected so we'll just wait until 5 minutes have passed and now I come on this excel sheet in the data tab I click on refresh all now let's see what happens you could see automatically it has pulled in the three new rows which means just by clicking on this refresh button you could have your Google Sheet synchronized with your Excel sheet which is residing in your local system this is that simple no coding required we can go back to the URL this was the URL and if I refresh this page as well it has the latest entries so this is how you could synchronize your Excel sheets with the Google Sheets without writing a single line of code. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you shortly. Goodbye.